Oh, ho, ho, ho. we are breaking new grounds here, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, my name is Python, and welcome back to the fourth episode of Minecraft Hardcore. I do hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and once again, a massive thank you for all of the support you guys have been sharing the series. I truly do appreciate it. If we can keep it up with about 3,000 likes per episode, that would be absolutely fantastic. So, uh, in today's episode, we're probably going to do a bunch of exploration and trying to find ourselves a bunch of goodies, because that that's what I want to do, man. That's what I want to do. I want to get myself geared up a whole bunch more. Maybe we could try and find some more ancient debris. I mean, we do have ourselves two bits of ancient debris currently, right? We got them in here. So we need two more and then some gold. And then we can make our first ever netherite ingot and uh, spend it on whatever it is we want to spend it on. But uh, since the last episode, all I've done is I've relocated the main nether portal from down there uh, into the house here. And, uh, yeah, as a result of me doing that, though, this actually leads to somewhere else, okay? What the? What was that? That was weird. But, uh, yeah, guys, we are now above the ocean, um, which is less than ideal. However, uh, due to the fact that when you go through a portal, you always face the same direction, uh, what I managed to figure out is because the portal was down there, if I face the way the portal was and then go through, what I should be able to do is get myself back to base pretty darn easy like. However, with all of that said and done, guys, I have not slept for a while. So there is a very real possibility that phantoms can spawn. I don't want that to be the case, okay? I just don't want that to be the case. So, yeah, like I say, we're going to go exploring in the nether and see if we can't find ourselves some epic stuff. So, yeah, I mean, at this point, it would be really, really nice if we could find ourselves like a, a nice basic nether fortress or something like that. Uh, something nice and easy, you know what I'm saying? We've got plenty of food on the go. We've got plenty of various bits and bobs. Uh, so, to be honest, I mean, we, we should be able to get away with just exploring and hopefully not getting on the wrong side of a whole bunch of baddies okay ah uh, someone getting mad that i'm stealing all of your gold oh a crossbow hey don't mind if i do that's pretty cool but yeah the sooner we get some gold the sooner we can get ourselves some netherite and you know bartering material so yeah this is pretty cool guys check it out we're at 26 levels as well uh, i would imagine by the end of today's episode we might have ourselves enough levels to get ourselves our first decent enchant right oh come on come on return to sender yeah get wrecked all right uh did you drop a tear did you start crying with my amazing shot back at you? Nope. Come on. Double kill. What? How did that miss? Ah, yeah. There we go. I don't know how that other one missed, but oh well. What about you? Did you drop any of your tears? Oh, man. Come on, dude. My shot is enough to bring people to tears. And yet they gas. They're like, no. Goodness me. Trying to scale this freaking biome? It's hella dangerous. I mean, look at that down there. That's just like almost certain death. Good sweet lord. All I'm trying to do is look for a freaking nether fortress, okay? I'm not looking to die out here, bro. Oh, my word. I... Ooh. It's... I don't know, man. Like, I, I feel like there's, like, individual different dangers with each biome. Like, the crimson biome, you've got the hoglins and the piglins, you know, at war with each other. And you never know when they might go ahead and turn on you. And then you've got the warped biome, which, of course, has endermen. And they're just strong as hell. Uh, you know, it's pretty easy to accidentally look at those guys. Uh, and then you've got this biome, which just has seriously unforgiving terrain. I love it, man! <laughs> But then you look at the flip side and, uh, you know, you look at it in terms of great risk, great reward. You know, you've got this biome here, Basalt Delta, Magma Cream for Fire Resist Potions. You've got the Soul Sand Valley. You want some bones? You go over there. You want some leather and some meat or you want to do some bartering? You go to the Crimson Biome. And if you want Ender Pearls, well, here you go. You go to a Warped Biome, huh? Ah, okay. Uh, have we already explored this? What? Yeah, we have. Okay, so there's that bridge. Uh-huh. Okay, so if we've already explored that... Wait, wait, wait. Wasn't there a nether fortress attached to it, though? Or was that in a different series? I can't remember. It was in one of our 1.16 series. Yeah, 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 yeah. This was the one. Oh, heck yeah, dude. All right. Yeah, we gotta, we got to get up there. I don't think we explored the nether fortress before. Uh, all right. Well, that's uh, a bit... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Son of a gun. All right. Boom. Yeah. You're not lavering anyone anymore, sir. 
Oh boy. Oh, don't die. Alright, we've got a diamond in here. Fantastic. We can make ourselves a diamond shovel now, finally. Nice. So yeah, we've got the pickaxe. We can make ourselves a shovel. And then, yeah, I typically consider the axe to... Oh, hello. There's a small-scale war going on here. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, huh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go ahead and do... You You do you, baby. You do your own thing. All right. And then... Yeah. Huh. Nope. Not today, sir. Yeah. Give me a rod. Yeah, there we go. Into fire. On a side note, I do apologize if you can't really see that much when I'm doing all of these nether episodes. Like, th there's not too much I could do about it. I mean, yeah, I could go ahead and torch things up, but uh, we have a pretty limited supply of coal and no wood at the moment. So, yeah. Y your boy done kind of goofed. All right, all right. Some more gold. All right, guys, I think... We should do a little bit of bartering today. Maybe we can grab ourselves some nice basic resources. You can get gravel and leather. Oh, I like the idea of leather, actually. We can make ourselves item frames and all sorts of other stuff, man. There's so much stuff you can get from bartering. Like, in terms of if you want a lot of resources at the start, bartering's the way to go, I'd say. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, hello there, little chest. Oh, okay, so that is the... That's the bastion, okay. Uh, oh, another diamond. <laughs> hey, beautiful. I mean, we could always make a jukebox to bang out some pig step. You know what I'm saying? That could be a cool idea. <laughs> all right. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you going to be okay there, sir? I think it's going to be all right. That little piglin doesn't seem too fussed about the fact I'm about to pillage his freaking chest here. Uh, oh, right. Okay, so that was like the way in. And yeah, everything still seems kind of chill around here. I don't know if there's any more chests around here. Like, I feel like we only really explored like one side of this thing. Like, there, there is always the possibility. You, you just never know. So yeah, guys, I'm just trying to sort of scour the edges here and trying to look over into the other sides just to see if there's any other chests. I mean, you never know. I always feel like there's a chest or two that I wind up missing out on. And it's kind of annoying. I want to make sure I get everything. You know? I like having everything, man. It makes me happy. Okay. Okay, so nothing over there. Uh... See, I don't know. I don't know. Did, did we even explore these bottom sections? I don't know. I just don't know. All right, so there's those dudes. Okay, should we just, like, break in here? There we go. I'm breaking into your house there, sir. Uh, I do hope you guys are okay. Okay, so there's lava down there. There's plenty of chains around, I guess. What about around here? Anything? Anything for anything? I mean, I don't know. Doesn't seem to be too much going on, huh? Maybe I did get all the chests in the finish. <laughs> Oh, never mind. No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm glad I came back in here. All right. Well, there could be any number of things in there. Ooh. Yeah, those guys, uh, ooh. Ooh. Oof. Uh, I sense a big oof incoming, ladies and gents. Um, should I go ahead and make myself a little bit of a, a, a box here? Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, the tragic mistake previously is I didn't fill in the corners. we got to fill in the corners, okay? we got to do that. Otherwise, things could get very bad very quickly. All right. Uh, I mean, if they don't physically see me, do they still... Oh, no. Oh, do, do I just go for it? I mean, it's... What if I just break the chest? Like, would, th would that still make him angry? Oh. Huh. No, he seems pretty chill still. <laughs> cool. Ah, look at that. I'm just digging around the place and finding chests galore, guys. This is great. Okay, so that's just a zombie pig man. That, as long as I don't accidentally hit him, we should be chill. Right, again, we've got to fill in the corners, okay? I mean, again, do I just break this thing? They, they, they seem to get angry when you open the chest, but if I just break it straight away, then all seems well? Question mark? Yeah, I mean, they're just totally chill right now. Oh, uh, anything else? Oh, bone blocks. Yeah, I don't want to pass those up. Dude, I am loving the new nether music. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, my anxiety just went through the freaking roof there, bro. All right, I kind of want to... I just want to... Eh, I want to get up the top section here. Because we're, we're starting to get to the point where we're going above the nether fortress. So, as a result... You never know. There might be some stuff we've missed towards the top. I mean, I just I just don't know, man. Ah, 
beautiful gold. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful gold. What do you guys think? Could there potentially be another chest, like, hidden away in that one over there? I don't know. Like, <laughs> I just don't know. Like, I'm still kind of new to these structures, as I'm sure a lot of you guys are as well, right? So, I, I genuinely just don't know. All right. Well, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and pick these up. Okay. Still, still everything okay? I think so. I think everything's still chill. Hmm. So, one thing I do know is occasionally you can get chests spawned in the little sort of underneath cave systems of these here structures. Uh, so, I think it would be a pretty nice idea if we went ahead and maybe explored some more of those. Because, you know, there's not just like one little cave entrance, is there? There's usually several. Um, ah, here we go. Ah. Oh! No way! Wait, 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 wait. I missed out a double chest here? Holy crap. Oh my goodness. How? How do, how do you even do that? How do you miss out a freaking double chest? They're enormous! <laughs> Alright. Everything's still to Oh, obsidian! Ooh, I can make myself another nether portal if I wanted to. That is not a bad idea. Alright, let's continue breaking them. Alright. Oh! Ancient debris! Or, oh, uh, scrap! What, whatever the hell. Oh, dude, that's so cool. Uh, I might... Uh, you see, this has got multi-shot, but this is full durability. If I had access to an anvil, I would totally combine them. Right. Gold sword can go... Oh, wow, that's more than enough for a portal. Fantastic. All right. I definitely don't want to go ahead and uh, pass up the netherite scrap. Uh, let's grab that real quick. We've got some more spectral arrows. 15 obsidian, though, guys. That's fantastic. Holy poop. So I'm like randomly digging through these walls and what do you know? More gold. Don't mind if I do. All right, let's pop this one out. Oh, okay, what if I dig out some more? What if I dig out some more? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, dude, there's gold all over the place. I'm loving this. All right, guys. Well, there we go. I'm going to call that uh, Bastion totally complete now. And so far in total, we've had nine loot chests. That... Is pretty hefty. Oh, there's a blade spawner right there. I guess that's pretty awesome. Uh, what else have we got going on, huh? What else? What else do we have around here? Hey, guys, check it out. We've actually only got 30 levels now. And now that we have the ability to make ourselves another nether portal, uh, yeah, we should be pretty good. Do we have a flint and stick? Yeah, we do. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make a nether portal uh, so I can get myself back to my uh, overworld base area. And then we can sort of, I don't know, consolidate everything that we managed to get. And hopefully, uh, oh, two diamonds. I mean, that would be enough for our enchant table. Uh, guys, we have not just one blaze spawner, but guess what? We got a second one as well. And look at this. They're both activated. These are within spawnable range of each other. How do I remember how the heck to... Oh, right. Okay, so it's just that one there. Okay, fair enough. Uh, and then there was another one. Oh, dude, that's so cool. We've got a double blaze spawner opportunity, ladies and gents. That is freaking awesome. <laughs> I'll tell you what, my friends. Our luck in the nether so far has not been too bad, has it? It's been pretty decent. Holy poop. Yay! Okay, we made it back, guys. <laughs> We made it back with a bunch of epic loot and just a whole bunch of stuff, man. Woo! Baby! Man, we've got so much stuff here, it's actually kind of bonkers. Right, I think what I'm going to do is set up a chest here uh, with just the valuable stuff. So, gold blocks and netherite scraps, gilded blackstone. Uh, I'll probably consider obsidian as a valuable. Oh, man, there's just so much stuff, dude. This is epic. All right, and then pretty much everything else can, like, go in uh, here, I guess. We're going to make ourselves a portal uh, back down at the original area, which is just down the bottom. And that will allow us to get back to our overworld base, and then maybe we can start transferring, like, literally everything over here. I don't know. Sounds like a pretty good idea to me. Come on, big money, big money, big money. Take me back to base, baby. Hey, there we go. Hey there, broski. How you doing? It's good to see you. Oh, my God, we've got so many gold blocks. <laughs> Man, we have got so much stuff. Oh, hey, bales. I mean, oh. Food situation. It's a thing of the past. It's a thing of the past. We can even grow pumpkins if we wanted to. Ooh, okay. What have we got on here? What have we got on here? Curse of Vanishing. Eh, 
Not really that interesting. Definitely take the books. Okay, brilliant. Uh, did we have an enchant table? No, we don't. Okay, so I'm glad I got those two diamonds. I was going to make a shovel, but actually, I feel like an enchant table uh, would be the better way to go. Uh, it might also be an idea to grab ourselves some saplings. You know, just some regular tree saplings and take them down. It might be a good idea. All right, it's sapling time. I don't have an axe, but I'm going to make an iron one momentarily, I guess. But uh, yeah, I think just birch and oak would probably do for now. Now, obviously, eventually, we're probably going to wind up exploring the world, trying to get every single type of sapling. And uh, yeah, by doing that, we'll have expanded our repertoire of building resources, uh, which would be very cool. Uh, but for now, yeah. Dude, we're looking real nice. So I'm thinking what I could probably wind up doing is linking up the two portals uh, that we have in the nether. So, oh, Jesus. Hello. Hey, buddy. Boom. <laughs> Son of a gun. hey -ya! Oh, man, you just got wrecked. Son of a gun. I can't believe that. Ah, oh, let me guess. He didn't cry any of his tears onto the ground. Oh, one of these days, I might get a ghast here. We've killed a few ghasts today, but absolutely diddly squat. Oh, he spawned. Eh, never mind. But anyways, I was wanting to go ahead and uh, maybe connect the two nether portals together. I feel like that'd be a good way to go. Uh, and maybe make it sheltered as well. So there's no chance of, uh, you know, ghasts just shooting the portals out or whatever else. So there we go, guys. Three bits of netherite scrap. One more. We can make ourselves our first ever netherite ingot. Ooh, that could be a great end of episode goal, huh? All right, guys. Well, there we go. Enchant table has just been obtained. And I tell you what, we'll put it like in this corner here so we can like put bookcases around the corner there seems like a pretty nice idea to me uh, let's put the blast furnace down there and i guess we need to go on a bit of a wood rampage i mean how much would we get out of all of this let's have a look uh 16 oh okay that's actually more than enough okay so yeah if we just uh, minus one out of that we could go ahead and start decorating this thing boo, 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 two one and then uh, I don't know. Maybe we do one here, and then we add a gap in there. Okay, am I might be being super OCD with this. I probably am, let's be honest here. Uh, but I'm going to do one there. Okay, and will that be a level 30? What? It's not a level 30 standard enchant. What? Is there something blocking it? Did I count wrong? Huh. Okay, well, uh, apparently we do need another one. Okay, well, I'll just go ahead and do this. Oh, but it's not... Oh, but it's not freaking symmetrical anymore. I'm so sad. All right, let's just do that. Sod it. Yeah, there we go. Hey, hey. All right, guys. So upon getting 30 levels, we can get our first high level enchant. So yeah, there we go, my friends. Episode end goal. Head underground. See if we can get ourselves a netherite ingot and then do our first high level enchant. Ooh, exciting times, my friends, exciting times. Well, I mean, all we can do at this point, ladies and gentlemen, is just hope and pray that we get lucky. Now, here's the thing. Uh, diamond veins are normally bigger than netherite veins, right? Netherite veins are only ever like one, two, maybe a maximum of three. Now, with diamond mining, you typically go, I think it's like three blocks in between each of your branches. But with netherite or ancient debris... I feel like you're going to need to go ahead and do it slightly more often. Otherwise, I feel like there's a higher chance that you will go ahead and miss out, right? So I'm only going to do it one block in between. So, you know, when it comes to the start of the game, you haven't got TNT. Maybe this could be considered an effective way of getting ancient debris at the very start. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm at level 12. I did the whole bedrock thing and count up again. Uh, so, I don't know, man. All we can hope is... Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, well, that's a thing. Uh, can I... Yep, we're okay that way. Woo! Oh, I don't want to get on the wrong side of lava, okay? Oh! <laughs> I am so glad I didn't just discard this gravel as not worth mining. Can you see it, guys? Can you see it? We haven't even done that much mining. Holy poop. Dude, this is cool. I'm kind of nervous that there might be lava surrounding this thing now. All right, well, let's go and uh, pop this thing off. Damn. I mean, literally one is enough, guys. One is literally enough. That's all we needed. Oh, that's so cool. All right, is there a second bit behind it? I mean, if there's a second bit, you bet your sweet butt I'm going to try and get it. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Diagonal to it. Nice. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Your boy is a happy Pythonator right about now. 
And ladies and gentlemen, 30 levels is about to be achieved as well. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, so uh, what else do we need? We need ourselves a smithing table. That is, I think, two iron ingots and then a bunch of wood. Uh, so actually, I think we're just about good, guys. Oh, man, I'm so excited to get my first netherite tool. I think I'm going to go for the pickaxe. I've already checked out what enchantments we're going to get uh, on the pickaxe. Is going to be unbreaking three guarantee. Now, I'm hoping that I'm going to get something like fortune three along with it. And then I can get myself a whole bunch more gold uh, from the nether gold ore, right? That'll be really, really awesome. Uh, get it awesome. <laughs> I'm so funny. Uh, but, uh, yeah, on the sword, it would have been Bane of Arthropods four. So, I'm just like, eh. I'll give that one a pass for now. If smite four or sharpness or looting comes up, you know, any of those three, I would absolutely take it. But Bane of Arthropods is literally useless in the nether. I don't think there's a single mob in the nether which succumbs to Bane of Arthropods damage. So, yeah. <laughs> Hey, there it is, my friends, the smithing table. Let's get you put down there. Uh, let's make ourselves the netherite ingot. Ooh, there it is. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? All right, and then we combine these up. Uh, so, wow. It gives 500, well, pretty much 500 extra durability. That's incredible. Wow. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, in fact, is it still going to be on breaking three? Yeah, it is. Okay. Nice. I might as well give it a shot, my friends. Our first level 30 standard enchant. Hey. Okay. I mean, it doesn't have Silk Touch nor Fortune 3, but efficiency 4 is very much appreciated. I will take that. I am not, I'm not, I'm not disheartened about that. Holy crap. Whoa. God damn, I know what we're going for the next episode at the beginning. <laughs> Smite 5. How often does a level 5 standard enchant come up in here? It can't be very often. It's usually like Smite 4. You know? Wow. That is actually incredible. Legitimately, that is <laughs> that's incredible, bro. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, you son of a gun. No, no, no. No, no, no. Big fat no, no. I've, I've got to get this freaking build done so I can open my chests in peace, man. Ugh. Oh, my word. All right, guys. Well, on that successful note, we're going to end the episode right there. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, please do be sure, of course, to drop a like rating. I'd very much appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on future content. But, yeah, my friends, today's episode, oh, -ho -ho, it has been an out-and-out -out success. Uh, loot galore. We've got a netherite pickaxe. Oh, it's a good time, my friends. Things are starting to hot up, aren't they? You know, hot because we're in the nether. <laughs> I'm such a joker. I'm really not. I'm so dumb. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. Do have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next episode.